Yeah, hello and welcome to another update video about Ethereum. So Ethereum has started possibly the third wave to the downside. The wave count isn't changing. So yeah, still watching here potentially for lower prices. By the way, I have to take this out. I mean, Ether could still surprise to the upside. Okay, but um, for now, the downside pressure remains. It's holding possibly a bit better than Bitcoin, maybe a little bit better. Also, this increase was a little bit more aggressive. Not too surprising given that the sell-off was stronger as well. So there was a stronger rebound. Um, but overall, still looking here at this as a WXY pattern and then the Y wave as an ABC structure. And then, yeah, in the C wave, obviously, we're looking for this five wave pathway to the downside. And it could be here wave one, wave two, wave three, wave four, wave five. In this video, what I'd like to do, I'd like to mention the key levels. So which levels now need to stay intact to keep the downside pressure alive? I know we all want prices to go up again, but you know it, it just looks as if um, we, we might need that one more dip to really complete and wrap up the correction before then more substantial increases can follow again. Yeah, I mean, it can always turn around from here, but then the last rally was only in three waves and it just doesn't give us that clearly um, bullish outlook, right? So that's the problem. If we see three waves up, it could turn into a larger B wave. Absolutely. Yeah. But yeah, it, it seems as if the price needs another low and Bitcoin is doing it probably well bitcoin already formed a lower low in the correction see ether not so ether is holding better than bitcoin we'll see i mean for now i am tracking this decline here on the ether chart as a wave three of c so which means it might just need another four five pattern then to wrap it all up um it could be wrong about that it could be that we don't need this last four five so therefore we just need to be mindful that any low could now be the last one. This correction was deep enough yeah, to be reliable, actually a little bit too deep for a fourth wave. And still though, we haven't got any confirmation that a low is in place at this stage. Looking at the micro patterns, I did highlight before, this would be a one down wave two. This could be the third. So what I'd like to do, what are the key levels? So against today's high, the focus can be on, on, on lower. So 3,125 should really not be broken anymore to the upside in order to keep that immediate downside pressure alive. In the very short term, even the last tiny swing high here at around $3,060. Looking at downside targets for the third wave, what we can do, we can take the length of the wave one down, go to the high of the wave two, and then it takes us to round about $2,800 here as first key target. 2,800, the 1.38 extension is the first key target for a third. So if this is a third, we should see that level reached. We haven't got a sustained break below this week's lows yet, even though it's trying to. Um, it's currently holding still sort of around this green line, uh, green, <laughs> no, red line. Below that level, we have next support at around 2,870. And then, yeah, this third can come down a little bit lower and should target 2800 and then obviously here around 2790 we should have support anyway then maybe another four five and that could wrap up the entire correction um but yeah key levels were mentioned and against those we focus on lower downside targets as well and if it has to go below 2789 which ideally it does to wrap up this entire pathway the correction 2,600 is the next main Fibonacci level below that. But I'd say at the moment it's somewhere between 2,790 and 2,600. It would be likely for this correction to complete. To keep this scenario alive and this perspective on the micro level, the price needs to stay below today's high. Any break above that level, okay, I could first explore is the wave 2 still unfolding, but it would be a very, very... It would look like a very tortured wave two then. Then the B wave would likely sit here and we can get a C and it would just be a, some, some kind of a running flat pattern, even more extreme than it already is. Mm, and then obviously above today's high, yeah, then the Monday high will become relevant. Above the Monday high, a more substantial low formed, okay? But that's currently not expected until the market gives me reason to, let's say, believe that. That's my update about Ether. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment, and subscribe and if you really like the content then please check out the channel membership 
Also make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye bye.